So while this might look like Windows 11, this is actually a Linux which is trying very hard to look like Windows 11. So let us explore and see if it's worth to install on your computer. So let's get started. Now the most obvious thing is the interface which is full copy of Windows 11. We have this the start menu and we also have a global search which is part of the KDE Plasma and uh, uh, we also have a co-pilot which is just a web app so this is not integrated but just a web app that has been installed so you can use that and this is how the file manager looks and this looks uh, like really similar uh, but this is the dolphin file manager we do not see the multi window support here only the icons are similar and these are the widgets and uh, if you have seen the nobara os or endeavor os this looks very similar to that um, but the background blur is quite nice. Now instead of the news feed that we see on the Windows 11, we have a widget section and you can easily drag and drop all the widgets on your home screen. And uh, these are all the applications that are installed and we see a lot of the applications. So that's not a bad thing here and this is how the power menu looks. Now if we compare side by side with the official Windows 11, so this looks a really cheap copy of that if I have to be honest. If you have used Windows 11 you will see how much different it looks in terms of feel and interface. I mean at the end it is just a KDE theme and GTK theme as well so they have implemented that. So we have an Android launcher here. So if you click on it, it's actually going to open up a virtual box like kind of interface. So it requires to download the Prime OS IMG here and it's gonna run this in the virtual box. It was taking a lot of time downloading and stuff, so I just left it. So we also have the chat GPT, which is also an like copilot of web app. And other applications we have is the MS Office alternatives like the only office and uh, we do not get the LibreOffice but the only office and uh, this is not the most secure one as uh, online if you are hard they have some pin security issues with the only office um, so this is is uh, in built here so if you come to the customization options for the uh, like the general Linux ones we have this wallpaper option we get a good collection of wallpaper that are really good looking and here are some of them We also get uh, the Power Toys, so they have renamed the Microsoft or Windows as Power Toys. I don't know why. So we get the Power Toys update, Power Toys here, there. Um, kind of weird. We get the Power Toys in the Windows 11 as well, but those are for advanced options. So they just use it. And we get support for the controller and joystick. So if you want to play games here, you can do that using it. So that's nice here and we get the similar windows looking theme support for the dark mode and light mode and here i think they have done a good job as you can see we get a really nice background blur uh, which looks really nice to look at now, other than that the options are pretty similar to the generic uh, kde options we get options to customize the menu the accent colors and everything and uh, if you look here we have we're running on the KDE plasma desktop environment and we also get a built-in app store which is the KDE discover app store so we have a, a lot of options for the Linux applications and all of them load up fine and you can also install a lot of applications like OBS studio or the VLC telegram blender and all and we get the Microsoft Edge browser built-in instead of the Firefox so of course for the microsoft we have to have the edge browser now coming to the performance it has been really great no issues so there are no issues anything major that i've faced the thing is that it's not the most popular os and also there have been past issues with security concerns so it's not something that i would recommend but if you want to install it and try it uh, you may uh, proceed to the installation part of the video so proceed at your own caution 
so on your real windows computer you need to go to the uh, wubuntu website and you will see this option to download the windows 11 version and it uh, explicitly mentions that it is windows 11 theme we also get one for the windows 10 theme so just uh, head over to the page and download it we also need the by nature applications to make the bootable pen drive now select your file the iso file for the ubuntu so you will see this warning which says that this is possible windows image but you can safely ignore it as we all know this is ubuntu uh, not ubuntu this is ubuntu so you can just go ahead and continue and then select your pen drive from the target list and then start the flashing process so before proceeding you need to make sure you have backed up everything because it's going to replace your windows if you're trying to install it as a primary os so power off your device and press the bios key and in the bios menu make sure you have disabled the secure boot and choose ufi if you have the option to set for boot now similarly use the boot menu key and to choose your pen drive now from the list choose your pen drive now choose the first option which is the windows ubuntu 11 Now you see this windows logo and after some processes you will be in the home screen of the ubuntu and the first thing you need to do is find the install icon which is on the top left side double click on that and the installer menu will open up now complete the basic setup of setting up your location keyboard and uh, the region and everything now in the installation option i'm going to select the second option which is going to delete the windows and install it but i'll suggest you to dual boot it so you can check out my any other dual boot linux video and the process is the same for this as well and the installation will start and it's going to take a long time so after you're done installing just restart your computer make sure you remove your pen drive and you will boot into the ubuntu so that was it for this video if you have any questions let me know in the comments and also tell me your thoughts about ubuntu and if anyone should try this OS on their PC or not. So yes, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.